Good afternoon. There's still no decision about a new gun control laws in Wisconsin. Instead, Wisconsin Republicans argued Democrats should join them to override vetoes from the governor, all three of which failed today. Now, one involved funding for a mental health crisis center, another blocked money for doctors who care for people in those facilities, and the third gave the Evers administration more flexibility in how to spend half a million dollars to increase the number of health care providers. Democratic Minority Leader Gordon Hintz said today he accused Republicans of pushing the overrides to, in his words, cover their cowardice on dealing with gun legislation. The gun control special session called by Democratic Governor Evers was supposed to begin at 2 p.m. At some point, maybe tonight, we'll get to the actual order of business today, the special session that we're supposed to be debating today. This is all done to delay, to disguise, to distract the business that we were called in to do today, which is to listen to the people of the state of Wisconsin who are calling and demanding for reasonable, common sense gun policies. Evers ordered the session in October, demanding a vote on two gun control bills, one mandating universal background checks, another a so-called red flag law allowing family or police to take guns from people who pose a threat with permission from a judge. Republican leaders have opposed the bills and the session, saying all week their plan was to end the session just seconds after it began. Now, Governor Evers sent Republican Assembly Speaker Robin Voss and Senate Leader Scott Fitzgerald a heated letter this morning, saying they are ignoring the will of the people and that Wisconsin residents deserve to know where their lawmakers stand on the bills. Assembly Speaker Voss commented on the Governor Evers letter just before the special session opened today. I think Governor Evers um, playing politics with this is really sad. He doesn't want to focus on where the vast majority of the issue really lies, uh, and that's trying to deal with suicide prevention as a mental health issue. Democratic state lawmaker Jennifer Schilling supports stricter gun control. She issued this statement today saying in part, this special session is the legislature's opportunity to take meaningful action. Let it be clear that what stands in the way of voting on common sense gun safety issues are Republican politicians and their loyalty to the NRA. Outside the Capitol, a demonstration supporting that special session, several dozen people rallying just outside the Capitol doors, hoping to persuade Republicans to debate and vote on those two bills. Democratic Attorney General Josh Call speaking, saying it's time for Republicans to act and people have had enough of, quote, political cowardice. 